I think it's time to get together. Let's have a look at these and uh, see if we can make some sense out of them. Start at the top. This is about as straight a derivative as you could be given at this point. Yes, I know there's a few uh, twists and turns in there, but not too many because all you need to do is use your power rule and use it twice. So what do you reckon? Saddam's derivative over there, 15x to the 4 minus 2x on 3. Are you happy with that? Yes? No? Yes? <laughs> I, no? Hmm, let's have a look. Um, how did we get to this answer? Well, let's start with the first term, 15x to the 4. Where's that 15 from? Where did you get that from? Yeah, very good. So what we've done is we've taken this power and we've said first, very first thing, we're going to bring that out the front, so 5 times 3. It's 15, fantastic. And then we will subtract 1 from the power. Are we okay with that so far? Looks good, thumbs up. All right, let's have a look at this guy. Now, let's try and rehearse that same process. We've got this power, it's 2 instead of 5. So when I multiply it out the front, what do I get? Yeah. I've, got, I've got that 2 yeah. there, so thumbs up. Okay. And then what was the next thing I was supposed to do? Multiply. I'm going, hold on a second. Have I, have I multiplied by the coefficient? 2's come out the front. Yeah. There it is right there. And then I reduce the power by 1. So what should I have over here? It was x to the 2 before, now it's x to the? Do, do you agree with that? Yeah. Apart from me having accidentally <laughs> deleted part of Saddam's line. Where did that on 3 come from? What's that doing there? That should be because 3 to where, where, where did that come from? It, it, it came from right here, right? Yeah. Over here. Just like in this case, this 3 just kind of hung on for the ride. That's what happens with these constant coefficients. We can forget about them for a brief moment as we differentiate, but then they don't disappear. Still there. Right? Same deal with this division by 3. Are you happy? Have we convinced ourselves? So if something like in, a, in a fraction, do you still call it a coefficient or is that 3 of a different name? Great question. So when we have a look at this x squared on 3, right, it doesn't look like it's set up for a coefficient right now because we would tend to write coefficients out the front. However, can we write x squared on 3 as if it were just a coefficient? How would we rewrite it? Yeah, Hamza, what do you reckon? One third. One third Right? That's dividing by 3 is the same as multiplying by a third, and then the x squared, as Hamza says. So really, it might be dressed up differently, but same deal. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Yeah? All right, let's have a look at this one. It takes a bit of work to get to this point, but can someone give me, before we check this out, the previous line, well, actually several previous lines, when we're just doing the product rule, right? You're going to call this u, going to call it v. I suppose you could switch the order, but it doesn't matter. What's the first line that we should all have written down? Everyone should have pretty much the same first line. Anyone want to recite it for me? OK, you can just go straight to going from the product rule out of this, which in this case, I'll do it up here. What is that in this case? This is actually <coughs> excuse me, the key thing I'm looking for here. What am I going to write down? It's going to be a long, gross, expanded thing, but that's fine. Yep. So, so, second bracket, so 2x to the power of 4. Yep. Good. Um, times Someone help me out. What's your dash? 3x squared. Okay, great. Someone else take over. I've got a plus. Who's going to take over? Roger, you reckon you can handle it from here? Can you, t can you tell me my next part here? I've only got half the line. Do you want to rescue us? Go ahead. You had your hand up. X cubed minus 1, don't forget the brackets, and? Uh, brackets 8x cubed plus 1. What do you reckon? Who agrees? I'm getting some nods, yep, thumbs up. Okay, now we could, we could go through this next process, right? And hopefully get from here to here. I'm not that worried about that part because this is something which, number one, we're not focusing on. Number two is something which ought to be able to do a little bit on autopilot. The main thing I wanted to see was, could you differentiate which lands you here? Okay, last one. Now, no one came up the front to get to an answer for this one, partly because it's the last one. So can we do this one together? What's going to be our first step? Go ahead, Strang, start us off. Question from there, so yep, go ahead. VU dash plus UV dash. I'm going to write that. Minus, minus. Very good. Over V squared. Okay, fantastic. One of the great things about the question rule is it is a question. So that's one of the easy ways to trigger remembering which one is which. Let's quickly have a go here. If we say this is U and this is V, make sure U's and V's are written very differently, by the way, because in this case it does matter which one's which. Let's have a go. V in this case. 
Leslie, help us out. Very good. Ashani can take over. What's the next thing I'm going to write? Um, you can look up here. It's all here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's one. By the way, that doesn't change what this is going to be equal to, right? When you multiply by something by one, it doesn't change. Do you think it matters that I put that one there? Hmm. In, in a sense, it doesn't. Because as we just said, when you multiply something by one, it doesn't change. But I really like having that one there. It shows me, when I read your working, it shows me that you know what you're doing, that you've actually differentiated something as you're doing the question rule. OK, next step. Where are we going to go? X minus one. Thank you. And then I'm even going to be generous and give you V dash, because I'm nice like that. OK, there's our numerator. And then what's on the denominator? x plus 1 all squared. Now I could write that as x squared plus 2x plus 1. There's not really much point, is there? Because it's not like you can cancel extra stuff out once you've got that. Let's just tidy this up because it's so very easy to do. You've got an x plus 1 here and an x minus 1 here. So what are you going to be left with once you collect your light terms? What happens to the x's? Yeah, x take away x, so they're gone. You've got a 1 take away a negative 1. So what happens to that? 2. Two. Oh, Take away negative one. I was, I was testing you. Yeah, thanks. We're all awake. Good to know. All right. Are you happy with that? Oh, 